Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you Taurus? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallows Eve. Hope you guys are spending it um, with your loved ones and being safe out there. All right, let's get into your reading Taurus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward and guide us. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what are the messages that Taurus needs to hear at this present time regarding their love and romance. What are the messages that you have? Paint us a vivid imagery of the messages that are coming through for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What are the messages for Taurus regarding their love life, regarding their romance? Spirits, please guide us. All right, Taurus, let's get into it. One more shuffle. Let's go. Your first card here is the lover's card. Um, this is uh, getting to the point of making a decision is what I'm hearing. For a lot of you guys, this is options. Having options or dealing with uh, people that are coming towards you, trying to get your attention, um, trying to... I do, I, I do want to say, they're definitely saying someone in particular will be trying to get your attention. Um, you may notice that you bump into them, that you're casually going out with a friend or something. You bump into this person or you start to see this particular person very often. Don't think for one second that it's coincidence. They are planning this. They are literally asking about your Taurus. Um, your next card here is the chariot very quick movement for those of you guys that have been single for a while Love is definitely coming your way uh, You may be dealing with the Gemini a cancer or a fire energy Sagittarius Aries a Leo What they're telling you here is there's almost this momentum that is starting to pick up for you Taurus uh, especially those of you guys that have been focused primarily in your business or finances um, really putting your nose to the grindstone when it comes to creating um, opportunities and building stability. Um, I definitely do see an opportunity coming uh, or arising. Um, someone definitely trying to communicate or will be communicating in the month of October. Um, for some of you guys, this could be a particular person that is or will be um, confessing some type of feelings. Now, we also do have the Ten of Swords here with Karma. We go back to the lover's card. They're definitely saying that there are options around you. One of those options may be a person from your past. This could be a person that you're no longer in contact or no longer have been in communication with. They're coming back around, Taurus. And keep in mind that we are just getting out of retrograde. Mercury goes direct on the 18th of October. Saturn just recently went direct as well. So a lot of things that are or have been... Um, kind of where there was no ending there is no conclusion it's coming back around only what they're telling you here is don't get your hopes up okay don't put a lot of effort and energy with people that are from your past or that are coming back around if you're getting to a point um if those of you guys that are in a relationship where there's almost like a feeling of kind of being held back um is what i'm hearing it, it's almost like you are propelling yourself towards the future and solidifying or working in your stability. Uh, you may be dealing with a situation where you feel like you're frustrated at this point with your partner or like they are, they always have something negative to say about when you're speaking about the future, when you're speaking about goals, when you're speaking about plans that you're trying to do. It's almost like what I'm hearing is all I'm asking for is a little emotional support. Um, and I think that that's very crucial when we're talking about relationships. Whenever we feel like, you know, we can't fully express or we feel like every time we try to share, you know, our ideas, our goals and aspirations with our partner, it almost feels like they shut it down very quickly or they're very judgmental. That could be very demoralizing. And it gets to a point where you kind of feel like, you know, is this person doing it because there is some type of insecurity issues that they themselves are dealing with? Um, is it that they've been suppressing certain things that they've wanted to do, but they've held back out of fear? Whatever the situation is, this has absolutely nothing with, to do with you. So what they're telling you, Taurus, is if you are dealing with this type of energy, 
don't let that get you get you down and don't allow anyone uh, to demoralize you to you know be a negative Nancy in your party you know what I mean what they're telling you here is be crystallized in the desires that you're wanting to achieve you will achieve them um, but uh, at the same time what they're telling you is if there is a feeling of restriction or there is a feeling of this person instead of really hyping you up what they're really doing is judging or critiquing everything you do it's time you start wondering or asking I should say it's time you start asking do they really have your best interests at heart because a person that genuinely cares and genuinely loves you is going to want to see you flourish is going to want to see you expand and grow so if you're feeling like you're being restricted or like they're dragging you down or they're pulling you could be insecurity issues there however don't allow them um, that type of power don't give up your power that way you stay focused and again things are going to uh, quickly be coming to an ending cycle for some of you guys um, this could be relationship wise or this could be the conclusion of being single for those of you guys that are single out there so beautiful uh, beautiful reading Taurus very important stay focused my lovelies I want to wish you guys the very best don't forget to like and subscribe this video and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.